Okay. Just um, really quickly, give me two seconds while I make sure that I am seeing exactly what I should be seeing. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That is. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So, everyone, uh, I want to, first of all, thank you for taking your time and letting Trade Ideas come in here and uh, present to you. Um, here's a little bit of a background story. First of all, you can see how old I am if you really squint and read. So, this was an article about me um, from 1996 when dinosaurs ruled the earth and um, a lot of people weren't that familiar with electronic trading, but I was very lucky to be one of the pioneers in the space. Um, and uh, the experience that they wrote about here in this article was the experience that um, of learning it the hard way, you know. And that's, by the way, one of the exciting reasons why I'm here presenting um, the Trade Ideas technology is because. Um, you guys are doing the right thing by getting mentorship at live traders. And, and I mean that wholeheartedly because trading um, by itself is kind of challenging because there's just so much noise in the markets. It's very difficult uh, for somebody to spend the kind of years that I spent, you know, learning a market that was actually structured differently and easier to understand that helped me build the foundation for what we do today professionally at Trade Ideas. So again, this is just a background and it's really just for people who aren't familiar with Trade Ideas or what we do or who, so that you guys can sort of have a, um, a face to the voice that's speaking to you right now. I'm just a little bit older than in that picture currently. Okay, so first uh, I have a couple of questions. Um, how many of you just high level are familiar with the trade ideas. You know, yes, no would be fantastic. And again, just a few uh, responses. So that, that way I can tailor this presentation a little bit better. Um, okay, interesting. Okay, this is a good mix. Okay, so I will, um, I will show you guys the website real quick. I'll start there. Um, let me close the mail program. Whoops. Hold on. So this is the Trade Ideas website. For those that um, are not familiar with it, this is uh, Trade Ideas. And again, the, the presentation is just catching up a little bit. Um, yes, and I, and I will po I'll, I'll post that article again. So. Um, so it's very simple. Our website is www.trade-ideas.com. Okay. And kind of like the, what the homepage says, we are all about helping people get to the best information more quickly. We're about simplicity. Um, we think it's, the, we think the more you are thinking about the trade, the worse you're off trading because trading kind of needs to be um, similar to being in the zone as a professional sport. So I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard that athletes, the ones that are really winning and competing, like for example when Tiger Woods was in the 2000s and Jordan Spieth in golf, or you can look at any sport, Wayne Gretzky, uh, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, anybody. Um, what you see is they never talk about the fact that they're figuring out how to do what they're doing. Like never is Kobe, you know, sitting there in the middle of an awesome, you know, move to the basket doing like a 360. He's never thinking about, okay, I'm going to take three steps to the right, then I'm going to jump up in the air and rotate counterclockwise. But ironically, that is exactly what um, many of us are doing every day when we're in the stock market. And we do that by sitting there looking at charts, drawing trend lines, and doing all of this stuff that is um, what we call very subjective. Okay, So the reason we say it's subjective is because your trend lines are drawn by you. And uh, do you have any idea what you're doing? You know, you have to ask yourself the honest question. And I don't mean that to be silly, I mean that to be frank, because being frank is very important in terms of success. So. 
we started trade ideas in 2003 and uh, we started it by realizing that idea generation has to be improved for equity trading and the reason we came to that understanding is having come out of professional trading ourselves we learned that there's really there were really two primary ways people do it they either do it through uh, paid for research so like hedge funds for example pay a research analyst a lot of money in commission to get be first in line to the information or they do it discretionarily you know where much like Jay was describing you get a sense a skill by looking at a stock and trying to see what the pattern is but here's the the issue okay the issue is that you you don't always have the time to again sit every day from open to close learning what a stock pattern is doing you know and not only that add to the fact that stocks how do we ever exhibit a, a pattern like one pattern looks very similar to another pattern but they're really quite different if you look at them on a percentage basis or on a volume basis so it's just a lot more complicated than people think and it's tricky to uh, acquire that skill set so having come from the background of trading like Microsoft and Intel and Cisco and Dell computer when they were like the big this is before the internet you know before Yahoo or Google or anything like that so having grown up in that space having traded those names and they were really fun to trade I mean I was there for like the Netscape IPO and things like that what we realized is people really need to be focused on where there's really big alpha opportunities okay and so a trade idea is what we do is we listen to absolutely everything in the stock market you know every trade on every stock and we keep a database at our server facility where we're not only just you know watching it but we keep statistical baselines on every time frame and what that allows us to do is two things it allows us to present information in a unique way which I'm going to show you and then it allows us to do probably the most important thing with that information uh, which is how do you actually create a strategy from it and again I'll demonstrate why mentorship at live traders is so important and why it's a perfect combination to what we present and what we offer to trade ideas and Jay you're so good at trade station I'm gonna have to get you to do the same thing with trade ideas soon and like you said they're not paying you come on so um, let's talk about what you're seeing so this is trade ideas pro and by the way we just uh, released a new version that comes out with our own charting so now we can help a lot of people offset costs by having everything bundled in one uh, you know in one application so you can here I've, I've, I've split this up and I'm going to show you just again a couple of just navigational things that you can do and then we'll, we'll die uh, you know we'll dive right into the power the functionality and what you can do so trade ideas presents data again we're kind of data mining in real time and and you're on a notice we have a channel bar and everyone is watching what's called the social media channel so what this means is that every single stock that's being discussed uh, in this channel is being talked uh, about on social media in an unusual behavior more than normal and the market really translates right into sentiment so you can quickly see exactly if the sentiment is good or bad I'm going to give you an example so ITEK Intertech Pharmaceuticals so first of all notice that having the ability to see where people are most excited in terms of their conversation steers you to the industries that have the most uh, alpha generation ability right so uh, so we take and again there's no right or wrong way to trade by the way I mean the right way is to make money to be successful but we take a different approach in terms of we typically don't uh, trade one instrument but we're constantly trading things that have the most momentum in other words the most odds that they are going to continue so first of all look at this iTech you know it's up 172 percent today and if you look at the daily chart right here and I'm going to just expand this out real quick you can see that it gapped up you know had a little volatility and then just kept going but the interesting thing is that most of us are taught 
that when something like this happens, that, well, it has gone too far, you know, and you instantly learn to hesitate. It's like this modesty of, well, surely it's not right if it went up this much so somebody could make like, you know, 300% in one day. That can't happen. But it happens all the time. And you have to just know where to look. So notice again why I brought this up. So a couple of things about trade ideas charts. So first of all, here in the upper right-hand corner, I have the Qs, fives and dailies. And because I was watching Jay's presentation and was seeing that, that you know he was keying off of that, I want to kind of bridge it, give you guys something also familiar to what he was talking about. So here you're watching the whole market on a five minute. And notice the Qs are themselves kind of stabilizing possibly you know, looking for a bounce, and here's where they are today. And again, I mean, I'm, I'm not predicting one way or the other. But the beauty of how these stocks trade is that sometimes they just completely don't care what the cues are doing. That's, that's the whole point, is you want to also be able to be in moves that are totally independent of the whole market. So look at this uh, five-minute chart, okay? I mean, here you have the gap up, right? And here's where immediately it's the, like the self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, and here comes the plunge. But wait, it doesn't really plunge. You know, it goes back to 762, and um, here you go. And all of a sudden, here it starts. So these are five-minute candles. And notice the, the reason I'm pointing this out is, first of all, notice how the synchronized uh, crosshair, so you can see where you are on the daily and the uh, five-minute at the same time. Okay, so here you start to go. I mean, look at this. There was a lot of opportunity to get in here. It wasn't even overbought at 10. And that's what we want to showcase to people, is that the traditional methods or thoughts that people have about what happens in the market are just, for the most part, totally wrong. Um, so how do you take advantage of it? Okay, so first of all, again, the reason why uh, we think trade ideas is the most killer platform for navigating the markets is we try to put everything that you need really in one place. Okay, so here again in the channel bar, um, I'm looking at the social channel and I'm going to show you. So here I have the stocks that are most up social up movers, but if I go down to the list, you can even see the ones that are doing poorly and also being discussed a lot on social media. So this is the sentiment. So 2,700 times more than normal. Um, and again, that, that just means that it could have just been discussed one time a month, but still, um, this is what you see happening. So you can quickly see what's going on and try to figure out if there's anything that you may or may not want to do with it. So that's part of what Trade Ideas is bringing you. It's bringing your attention, focusing your, or your attention where the most opportunity is being detected. Notice also we have a lot of visual richness to the pro program. You're seeing a lot of colors and the reason that's happening is because we want you to kind of be aware of what's going on before you even jump in. So iTech, for example, is of course, I'm going to just expand this window out a little bit. So this is our position in year range indicator. So we have a lot of like graphical indicators that help you get to that zone state faster than your competition. So obviously, like without even looking at the charts, I know Kara is doing the same thing. It's up uh, on yearly highs while these guys are kind of off. You know, maybe they're rebounding today. Um, IDI, trying to get kind of what I would call over the hump. You know, let's look at it. Let's see. So the idea is that you're quickly being able to do that because visually you're being cued. And notice also, our software provides a lot of ancillary instant summary information. So let me scoot that back, and what you'll see is I know exactly what's going on in this whole list. I know that, that there's uh, a total of 33 stocks that I'm following, and 23 are positive and 10 are negative. So right away, you know that the general pull for the social media names today, the ones that are being mentioned unusually, the momentum is definitely bullish. Okay. So again, quickly, you're ahead of the game. You can instantly then figure out if these stocks, you know, there's additional information like, oh, okay, this company has cash. You know, they have revenues, quarterly revenue growth. Interesting. You know, what do they do? You can instantly see what they're doing. 
And th those are the kind of steps that we want you to be able to take more quickly so that um, you have an advantage over someone else who's looking this up and then trying to figure it all out. So there's a couple of ways that we also display information to trade ideas. So we create these lists that are all updated server side. So if a new stock all of a sudden started being mentioned, you would instantly see it pop up. Okay. It would appear here as one of these names. So this is, you know, sorted by what's up. Notice two ways to look at data. We combine multiple sortings. So you are seeing what's up and what's up a lot in terms of social media. So, that, so it's that kind of high level data crunching that really gets you to the more interesting information more quickly. You can also confirm it. So here we have another list that's more targeted at volume versus just social activity. It's the relative volume uh, ratio. So in this case, we know that iTech, not only is it being talked uh, quite a bit on social media, but it's also up the most and it has the most unusual volume. Okay, And obviously that sentiment is very positive, whereas this guy, okay, Tennessee Capital, is the other way around. So iTech, Tennessee. Uh, again, I, I run a development version of our software, so I always have all sorts of weird stuff happening to it. It's part of the name. So this, I'm sure, will come in in a little while, and I'll switch. So the other way we do that is um, we, uh, we present information through streaming also. So here, information is timestamped, and here's a social media stream that's kind of giving you a tape reading of what's going on in the social media world. And, and again, there's there's so much more than just unusual activity. You know, we watch the total number of tweets, the, we, we can compare the week to the month. I mean, there's just a, quite a bit of ways you can discern where the momentum is hiding. And here, notice you got VAC moving down with earnings today. Okay, so same same thing. You, our strategies that we've created, we already know what the move that you should be looking at, and we give it to you in the name. So you already know. And here's one um, extreme up move greater than three percent in 15 minutes. So this just kind of happened, okay? But obviously it's a very small stock. So we try to get you honed in. So instead of like pulling up a name and then trying to figure out what's going on, we want you to already know ahead of time what's happening. So let's see, these stocks on rows for the day. And what about their 20-day range? Same thing, similar to the yearly range, we have a 20-day range column. So you can see where it's, where things are happening. So here right now, like you can also, in terms of tape reading, you can see there's just a little bit of a bearish kind of flow just as of late. Okay. And look at this thing. I mean, here's an example of a move that would have been great to catch. Because again, you just have continued opportunity. Um, this is, you know, for us, this is what it's all about. It's about being able to steer you in the direction of the interesting and unusual versus just, uh, you know, the same old, same old, which is a mistake that a lot of uh, people in the markets make. So right now you're on the social media channel. And again, I kind of showed you a highlight. Also, we have an interesting window for tape reading, which basically just takes the bullish uh, events um, and, and compares them to the bearish events since the time that you opened the channel. So you in, so since open, since I opened this window, the tone of the social stream has been kind of bearish, even though the aggregates are still positive. But the tone has been bearish. And you can clear it, start over, and then see, OK, well, I've been watching it since the end of the demo, but what about now? So you, you can kind of, again, keep track of it. And you can even do kind of cool stuff where you, you can have one from the uh, uh, yeah, Mal, that's, a, that's exactly right. And the coolest thing is that you can really design it for anything you want. You can put your own symbol list in there and just have names that you follow. You can watch the S&P, or you can do it through filtering. You know, 
uh, stocks like below $100 versus, uh, you know, stocks above $100. There's just so many different ways that you can do it. But here we call it social bullish versus social bearish. And again, notice at the bottom, uh, you can see which stocks are, are the ones that are pulling one way or the other. And like you can have a company, uh, a symbol that says nouveau, nouveau, nouveau. So you can then also see, or is it, is it one event or is it one stock that's doing most of the pulling? So the idea is, you know, just better, more powerful tools utilizing technology and innovation that just hasn't been, um, you know, happening. So look, BAV earnings today. And uh, obviously look at this. I mean, this could be interesting for a swing play um, right here. I would have to say just again from my instinct because it's almost like something like the news is being leaked or something. You know, and obviously if, it, if, if the news is bad, it could gap down below this, but it definitely seems like something uh, very interesting happening. Okay. So we, we kind of covered tons of different segments. I have a, so you can channel surf. So I haven't done that yet, but let me show you. So here I'm going to a different channel. It's called the surge channel. Notice how my charts didn't change. They didn't need to go away. So here again, we're watching for instantaneous volume coming in. Same stock, Deep just had that happen. Here it is again, unusual volume spike. So something's going on. That's how you know, you know, Kara also, um, you know, here it's starting to happen. So the idea here is instead of you trying hard, we're taking like the whole trying to figure out where the action is to a different level. You know, you can instantly uh, just channel surf and be able to see what's happening and why. Look, here's, for example, the strongest of highs. Okay. And um, we called it that because like when this thing comes out, and again, uh, it has to have repetitive action. So it's already had six highs when it hit it. And it, there's a good chance based on some AI that it will happen again. So th that's the other thing that I wanted to tell you is that not only do we just give you a way to see all of the action like very quickly and in an interesting way. So for example, like if you want to just focus on the winners, right? Like what what is making money? What is up for the day? There's a channel for it. And it also, again, there's a lot of things that, that, that are the same in every channel. You know, here's that Kara again, you know, or FTK, you know, which just pulled back, but still had a big gap up. Um, UCTT. ASPS. So all of these names that are just big percentage gainers, uh, are there today, but we give you a different perspective because again, um, are there today, but we give you a different perspective because again, um, you can't just focus on one day only. You have to see a bigger picture. You can see that Kara is not only up today, but now it's up a lot for the week, 46%. Um, you can see what's, what are the biggest gainers over the course of the month, the year, and since January 1st. And look, you know, so, this, this, there's a real momentum when you can see this stock in, you know, four of these windows, right? So that should be something that interests people. And again, that repetitive kind of uh, visualization lets you instantly get into the zone and just feel much more confident um, when you are about to pull the trigger. So uh, you can also in trade ideas expand your charts and kind of zoom in and out of them. So you, you know, just so you can see, well, look, how far back are we going? So maybe the, the move with Kara is really interesting because we're about to basically retrace two years of ugliness. Okay. So if it goes and it looks like it is, and on look at that on much higher volume, right? Um, this thing could really, really run. And that is why we want you to be aware of it. That's why we, you know, we want you to have your attention focused this way versus kind of just, you know, searching and hoping. And the advantage of trade ideas, again, over some things, even like TradeStation, is that we watch every stock, so there's no symbol limit. You can't do that with radar screen. Um, or maybe if you can, it costs quite a bit of money. 
But at Trade Ideas, we watch everything and then we use our expertise to create channels for you. Here we have an active trader channel, right? This, so this channel is really hey, focusing on the scalper, uh, somebody who's um, somebody who you know is really geared towards transacting a lot. So we have windows that are you know that are geared for somebody who's not afraid to kind of find things, okay? And I'm going to show you kind of just, again, how our technology lets us have views that other people don't have. So, okay, so first of all, here in this Active Trader channel, you got all of the stuff up top. So you can see basically how the whole market's doing. You know the semiconductors instantly are, uh, you're doing it well. Yes, we absolutely do climactic stocks. That's part of the surge. So, I mean, we have filters that instantly find the climactic stocks, and that's actually what I showed on some of the other windows, but I'll, I'll show it more. So here we have one called Turbo Break. So these stocks are just, you know, breaking out, and this was designed by our, uh, this is designed by our, our uh, um, director of education, who's a 15-year professional trader, and he, and he trades by feel. So this is kind of based off of him. You have Double Diamond, where you're seeing just um, unusual moves in both directions. You know, you're seeing things like 15 minute lows, so that, um, so that, or 15 minute highs, so that you can really bob and weave and you know that something uh, is happening. One of the most unusual daily movers. So, since we do a lot of statistical analysis, and notice again, so here, this is kind of an interesting, and remember what I was showing you guys before how on the social, the most unusual were all up. But on the most unusual movers, and just in terms of statistics, they're actually almost all down. Look at that. You know, and by the way, every column is sortable and resortable, so you can really relook um, at. Whoops, sorry, I'm going to move it down. You can really kind of re reconfigure the view to fit whatever you want to do. So here are the guys that are just, you know, what's getting annihilated, and in an unusual way. Okay, I mean, look at that right there. So this is what we're trying to help you find, right? We're trying to help you find the volatility. I mean, look at this right here. Have you ever seen a prettier flag pattern that's really about to go one way or the other, either back up to, to test this whole down move or back to lows? I mean, that's what you need to be aware of. Um, uh, Leon, by pre-climactic scans, do you mean like uh, a crystal ball? And I'm just teasing. Uh, how would you, you can't know pre-climactic because it hadn't happened yet. Once it gets climactic, we instantly know. We're all about the climax. I often tell this to people, and I, um, I'm Maul and Jay, I'm sure you guys will appreciate this. So, um, <laughs> Since we've been in business, everyone's always asked us um, funny questions like, well, if your system is so good, why are you giving it away and why aren't you using it? So, to which we answer, we are using it. Um, but then they say, uh, well, how do I get a system that, you know, makes sure that I'm right tomorrow? And I'm like, well, no such system exists. You can only take a problem, uh, a probabilistic approach to the market. I mean, anyone that tells you that they can predict the market is lying. You cannot predict it. You can be right with an assumption. That's more like, you know, speculation. That's what you do. Speculation and prediction are uh, completely different animals. So make sure you understand that there is no way to predict what's going to happen. You can have some, again, intuition. And the question is, how good is your intuition? And what we do, what we're trying to show you at Trade Ideas is, is we want to get that intuition better and better by steering you in the names that you should be watching, like CRUS. So on a day where, again, you can feel the negative pressure, there's really, you know, very positive pressure right here. And that's one of the other things that, that, that is very helpful with focus on attention. So, that, that, so again, you have repeats of the same windows. Here's your uh, streaming, you know, 52-week lows on SID. And again, the double diamond continuing to show you what's happening. So again, obviously, negative situation with unusual activity. But here's a very cool two sets of windows that are some of the most powerful and, uh, 
every, all the pros that use these are like, they, they literally swear by them. So here we have a window called the biggest pullback on winners, and we have the biggest bounce on losers. So what we do is we take, we kind of take an interesting approach, and we take stocks that are up a good percentage, and we sort them by what is down the most over the last 30 minutes, because we have that data point, and it's all in real time. So here, you have a stock that's uh, up today, okay? But over the last 30 minutes, it has come down. So this is the pullback, biggest pullback on winners. Here's a stock that's a winner, but it's pulling back. So the idea is that, you know, if you are thinking that it's going to continue higher, you can get in right here, you know, set a very small stop, maybe right here, and you basically feel it out. And if it retraces, I mean, you're in a good trade. And again, and here's another one. And obviously this one is, you know, a very expensive stock and you can see that by the percentages. So you can go to FTK. Okay. There you go. So it ran up. Nice pullback. But look, I mean, just have some perspective. If you're going to feel it out, this is the kind of stuff to feel it out in, especially when you see this kind of volume. So that's the beauty um, of of how trade ideas works. And notice that these windows, they aren't like streaming, like boom, 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 look at me. I mean, they're right there for you to keep an eye on. So here's the opposite. It's called opposites attract, okay? You got WCC that's down for the day. We've already, I think we already picked it out, but here's that, but it's rebounding. It's the bounce, right? And remember we said this thing could go if it continues, especially if a little volume comes in. So that you're aware of it because of that, uh, this kind of sorting. Um, here's another one, TBI. Let's take a look at that. Okay. So over, remember, this is a 30 minute loser. Okay. So it's down 35 cents over the last 30 minutes. Okay. So somewhere here, but it's already had bounced just in the, in this area. So, and look at this move right here. So, I mean, that could be a very, very, very nice possible bounce. So there's all these different ways for us to, to help you get to where you need to go. Um, and uh, for obviously Scott Olson, who's one of my team members on the, on the business end, is in the chat room and he's helping everybody by showing you different links and promo codes that we're doing. Um, this is a great opportunity to test a different way to approach the market because it, our technology gives you the most flexibility to go wherever you need to go, whether it's the options, Or, for example, well, I'll, let, I'll wait for, for it to come up because the Omnovia is a little bit behind me. So, so here again, we're not only doing stocks, right? So not only does trade ideas look at equities data, but we look at the options data underneath. So we want to also maybe know, well, where's the most unusual op, uh, options activity and which direction, you know, is it going? And, 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 and is it significant or not? Right? So here, for example, Xerox, it's kind of an interesting, uh, or XRX, yeah, Xerox. Um, so let's see, 2,572 options contracts, okay, it's just up half a percent from the close, but it's all on the call side, and it has a high relative volume today, so it's both the stock and the options together. Um, again, how else are you going to combine this value to have that advantage? You know, you would have to look at three different screens and, and what we're really trying to focus on is for the, for trade ideas to be doing all the heavy crunching underneath and for you to just comfortably channel surf to what you find attractive, you know, again, and you can just keep going back and forth. Here's the surge channel again. Notice again, FTK, you know, it just keeps coming, coming up. High relative volume, just something unusual is going on. Um, here's the the one that we uh, were talking about before. Okay, I mean, obviously this was from a little while ago. Um, here's another one that just started to pop, and it's this ability to go back and forth and back and forth. So now comes for, for again. I'm just going to scroll down so you can see that there's different channels 
the different types of trading. There's China. There's cybersecurity. Again, we've done it all for you so you don't have to focus. There's a channel focused on fundamentals. You want to see what like the big technology boys and girls are doing. Uh, well, here it is. And these are going to be all the names that you hear about on CNBC. Yeah, there's AMBA and Amazon and Netflix. So this way you, you cover everything. You know, you're never going to be um, looking for, well, what should I be looking at? Like, for example, Cirrus Logic is, well, like, again, instantly comes up to the top because to me, like, I have to say to myself, well, something definitely interesting is going on if it's trading at 13, because it takes a lot for these stocks to move, 13 uh, times the relative volume right now. Um, SanDisk, same thing. I, I think they reported earnings and just look at this. I mean, these are possible situations where, you know, these things can run for, for, for quite a bit. So these are all um, our channels, okay? And new ones get added. Um, gold, biotech, energy, earnings. So you want to know what's uh, on the earnings channel? Oops, I moved it to another monitor. <laughs> I was actually doing something else on that one, sorry. My earnings channel came in on another monitor because I was testing um, one of the abilities that we have to uh, go back and forth between the monitors. And you do that by uh, moving your toolbar and saving uh, different windows to the toolbar. So like if you move your toolbar to another monitor, all the channel windows will attach themselves to where that toolbar is and you will then be able to, again, have like your own custom workspace in one place and then ours in another. So now that, um, again, I've kind of given everybody a big overview um, and you've seen some interesting plays, the stocks that are the most exciting, let's talk about why you really, really need this technology and why where Trade Ideas completely takes it to a different level. So. I'm going to create, first of all, aside from being able to watch it the way we show you, the trade idea is you can uh, create your own custom settings. We have a cloud where you can save them to the cloud, and um, you can link our software to other third-party software. So if you don't like our charting, you can continue with TradeStation or TC2000 um, or anything else that you, you might be using. So here's the alert window. Um, and I am going, and I created one uh, before I started this presentation, but I'm going to do one from scratch. And I'm going to right click, I'm going to configure, and we have an option where you can just start from scratch and, and kind of, if you know what you're doing, configure your own. Um, people share settings, it's super easy. We have technology that just makes our software be almost viral. You can. And I'll show, show you guys how it works, but beforehand, so I'm, I've started from scratch and I'm going to find an alert. I'm going to find five day highs. Okay. And I'm going to go to the filters where I'm going to say, I, I want, I'm going to put the D, add defaults. So everyone can see them. So we're going to see stocks that are between, let's say $5 and $100. They have a three month average daily volume of at least a million. Okay. And we're going to, um, so these are kind of high volume stocks that you guys might be more familiar with. Um, I'm going to call this live test. So I'm going to hit OK. So this all talks about, you know, why are you guys uh, at this room? And you're in this room because it's a very important to have a sense of uh, what it is that you're doing from somebody who really knows what they're doing. And the way that Anmal and Jay and myself, the way we learn how to do it is, again, we most likely all learned it the same way, the hard way. And I call that through bloody noses. So we would put on a trade, something that felt good, looked good. I mean, we obviously have the characteristics internally where we're not afraid to take risk. That, by the way, helps and is common among uh, traders. And, and also drug addicts, I believe. Um, but 
uh, here we're looking for these uh, five day highs. So, but the question is, is this a good trade or not? So let's take a look real quick. So I'm going to look at a couple of them. So, you know, this definitely looks like it's coming out. WM, let's take a look. You know, it looks like it's definitely breaking out um, and continuing. See that? I mean, there's some momentum here. But the real question is, that's me talking. You know, how do I really know what happens? Because, I mean, this one might look good, but I'd have to try it to see. So in Trade Ideas, we have a tool called the Odds Maker, which is basically a technology that has uh, artificial intelligence gateway. So it does a couple of things. First, it lets you test a strategy. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And for anyone who was watching the, um, the, the TradeStation presentation, um, you'll get a kick out of this. Because again, TradeStation back tests a completely different way. This is called event-based testing. So what I'm doing is I've chosen an event, which is this five-day high. And, you know, it happens every day. And um, we can go to the history. So in Trade Ideas, you can always look everything up. And today, you can see these were all the stocks that were making these five-day highs, you know. And, and again, you can see like what the... What, what, what the feed was like, making five day highs, trading a million shares or more. So now I'm going to go to right click and select run odds maker. And I'm going to say, okay, so obviously you guys know I'm on the West coast. So I'm going to take 15 minutes to just let the market kind of digest itself because I'm not trading like a robot. And I'm all, and I also know from my experience, I typically don't add new positions. Um, past 11 a.m. my time, so that would be in half an hour I would stop adding. Unless I mean I, I do that as a rule based, so that would be in half an hour I would stop adding. Unless I mean I, I do that as a rule based kind of uh, high level. Nothing in trading has to be completely black and white, except for the way you uh, manage risk in terms of keeping losing trades. But but in terms of entries and and exits, there, there's flexibility. So. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say, okay, um, what happens to these highs typically 16 minutes after they take place? I'm going to hit simulate buy and watch my computer run. So here, um, what we're going, what we're doing is we're going back uh, three months and looking at a sample of uh, 3,000 trades over the last three months, where the first instance of this stock making uh, of any stock making a new five-day high trading at least a million shares so we're crunching a pretty heavy load of data okay and here's what we find and this is again this is the best advertisement you're going to get for live traders roughly speaking when you are making a decision without the guise of somebody who has a proven track record like the guys here or um or if you're just Again, making a decision on your own, even things that look great to you, like some of these hypotheticals, roughly in this particular case, going over the last three months, have about a 42% chance of being up after 60 minutes. Okay, so you just found an interesting piece of information about momentum trading. Okay, so, and the average winner for these between, you know, the prices that I said was 24 cents, while the average loser was 18 cents. So a six cent difference. So the problem is though, because we know how trading works, at Trade Ideas we let you model some things that other people don't let you model. So you don't have to really worry about the buying power required for this because that's just, you know, that, that's not relevant uh, to the strategy yet. But here I'm going to say let's say 100 trades. Okay, so you can quickly change that. And I was paying $20 commissions because I was trying to make a point. But let's go to some reasonable commissions, like $7. But the spread is actually very accurate. You know, here I'm basically handicapping myself $0.06 cents on the entry and $0.06 cents on the exit. So I'm handicapping myself basically $0.12 cents per trade. That's how I end up being here. Okay, and now you can imagine. So the buying power, hypothetically, to be in every one of these trades is half a million. So you would need approximately, um, uh, let's call it 180,000 
in equity to be able to do the kind of leverage to trade this on a four to one. So that's how th this is what happens in real trading. But this is what most people don't learn. Retail traders, not professional traders, are the ones that have to be uh, cognizant of commissions and the spread. So here's what's kind of cool, though. Okay. So this is you just flying blind, but we have technology that helps, lets us, we have these, our AI that says, okay, I'm going to go back and restudy this data like a very good student in college and recreate this information. Um, to show you what would it look like if I was doing it and not you. So this is the way you trade it. And yeah, I'm going to change the name here to live test with AI. Okay, so th this is the computer-assisted version of this, without the icon, but it's the same new high. So then I select the odds maker and I rerun it. Hopefully this is something that was already working. And if not, I can, uh, again, show you a different version. I think this, yeah, let's see what happens. So at least, again, you can get it to a point where your profit factor is improving. I actually, unfortunately, grabbed the wrong strategy. Um, and I can always change that. But here you can see from the calendar that you've completely, you know, changed the way that you trade just by simple, and this is, this is called artificial intelligence suggestion, you know. And that's how we uh, really now approach trading um, versus just strictly from uh, the point of view of looking at a chart and doing it. We have the computers help us to create uh, a strategy that we know is going to be working, you know, at a very, very high level. Okay. And, 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 and what we find out is that the computers are actually way better uh, at this than we are. So I'm going to give you one more example. So here I can go to our software and say load from cloud. Whoops. Okay, and I already have a preset from our AI and it's called Shake That Money Maker. So one of the things that we're doing is uh, we're coming out with a AI channel. So where everything, it's kind of similar to this, but every stock you see has uh, statistics behind it that look hopefully like this if it works correctly. And this already has risk uh, parameters and a lot of other things embedded inside. So here you can see um, a slightly different situation. And I'll fix this because obviously this was, that would not be a strategy that you would trade at 100 shares. And we can modify the slippage and again also modify the equity because that's not what you would be necessarily need to start uh, this uh, strategy. So that's again an example of how you go from just an idea to an idea that uh, really might have some potential to make you money, you know. And there's also the ability to retest time frames too. So you can say, is this thing just good for 30 minutes or is there a chance for me to get out at the end of the day as well and make possibly more money? So the idea is that you just answer questions quickly, questions that you have not been able to answer before. So in this case, I think you're going to learn that this particular setup is really designed for that intraday time frame, at least I think. But the ability to test scenarios before you get in is a huge advantage to anybody in the trading game. You know, 
you just do so much better knowing that there's some understanding of what to expect before you jump in. So, um, so Leon, I mean, you're asking questions about could you identify range-bound stocks? Of course, uh, we can identify them by percentage of their actual range by uh, comparing them to ranges of other stocks. I mean, you have flexibility to do anything in our software. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, windows that I have that are specifically designed for ranges. But by the way, I mean, this strategy is actually, look, it's totally turned around and uh, is now showing that not only can you uh, trade this on a 30 minute time frame, but you can trade it on a uh, longer time frame. Okay. And and with the 2.3 profit factor, I mean, you're really seeing you know, a profit factor that's probably, well, no, I mean, again, it's not as good as the 2.8, but it certainly uh, has an opportunity for you. Um, and it makes the winners quite a bit bigger. And that's the whole thing about figuring out, well, what's the real optimum, you know, thing for you. If you're trading, you know, for 30 cents or 17 cents, right? Well, you know then that in order to make this look amazing, you've got to be kind of trading at around the thousand share mark. Okay. So that's the other thing to it. It kind of, um, it helps guide you into what is the proper share size? What can you expect in terms of slippage? So this is, this is again, the, the kind of technology, the next generation technology that really helps to answer all of your questions. You know, at once. So what I'm going to do now is uh, answer other questions that you guys have in the room. And uh, and again, Scott's been amazing uh, in terms of uh, giving you guys all the links. So there's questions about a uh, free trial for your software. We don't, we don't do free trials. One of the reasons we don't do it is that we had the fortune of being in business for over 13 years. So Trade Ideas has been around since 2003. Well, actually, it's the very end of 2002. And what makes us different from other vendors is that we don't just take your money. When when you subscribe to Trade Ideas, you get kind of like a concierge type treatment um, where you get your software set up for you. You get a one-on-one -on -one training session. It's very much like the Apple Store experience. You get that. You get set up on the right path so that your whole experience is better. The problem is if you try it for free by yourself, you could easily get frustrated because there's a lot of power in this technology, you know? Um, it's been, it was built, you know, over a decade to give people the ability to create their own stuff. But we've gone a long way to make it not, to have that not be the need, but it's all the power is still there. So it's like Adobe Photoshop, you know, uh, very, very powerful. And to get you on the right path, um, I, you know, I just suggest that you pay for the trial so you can give the support at first um, to make it better for you. Okay, awesome. Um, so, any other questions, guys? Um, uh, let me. I can. Somebody was asking about range bound things. So, I have this window called free basing. And I also have, um, I think I have this one. That's just another version of this window resorted. And I have another one called um, bottom forming AI. So our, our software kind of looks for bottoms on this one. And I'll just show you what that. Okay, so, by the way, is everyone still able to hear me? Just want to make sure. Okay, great. All right, so here I have bottom forming AI and I have what's called free basing. So here our software is kind of trying to find stocks that have started to base. So I usually uh, show this, this, these windows because when we do our trade of the week uh, webinar because this is part of the algorithm that looks for stocks that are basing that could be ready to change. So I'll just show you some of these and what that looks like. 
And again, remember the base is just uh, has to be occurring recently. Here it is again. And so the beauty about algorithms, right, is that um, they they do it all for you. You know, and, and the other thing too is that they also sometimes show you things that your eyes are like, oh, that doesn't look like a base, but again, statistically it is. So let's look at the bottom forming AI. Okay. So again, I'm gonna expand the view. Let me grab this. So you can see it a little bit better. Okay. So this is what our AI thinks is is the definition of bottom forming. And it's not a bad move right there. And and that's why again being having access to all the symbols, right? Is one of the big keys to be able to um, have alpha more so than other people in the market. You know, like you want to be in a position, right? That if you get into something and let's say it doesn't work for you, then your exits are kind of very clearly visible. You know, like you, like there's like for example, if this stock ARDX um, and you were speculating on the long side and it started to break down like below this level. You know, and Mal and Jay would tell you the same thing. Like, there's just absolutely no reason then for you to be in it. Well, 1644 and 1822, I mean, they're not that far away from one another, you know? So, and that's the other thing too, is that you also then have to realize that there's, um, th there's an arc to the whole stop loss and profit taking and everything else so that you really put yourself in the best situation of all. Um, notice, um, on Mal, the other thing I'm showing here is that how here we're not only showing you the proper bottoms, but we're resorting them by uh, the, the small float. So the idea is that, that is if these stocks start to make a move, okay, I'm going to get rid of this five minute, right? So if this thing starts to make a move, ESI, it's only got a 16 million float. I mean, it would not take, uh, you know, it would not take much at all for that to happen. Brad, I'll show you uh, um, that in a second. Okay, so Brad asked a question. He said, I'm currently interested in looking at stocks that are climbing on a one minute chart, preferably short price bars. For example, something will pick up SQQ. Okay, so there's a couple of ways that you can do that. So, number one, and again, this is the flexibility of trade ideas, and we'll just uh, pull this, make, oops. I'm going to start from scratch and I'm going to go to my search tab and I'm going to say, whoops, running, whoops, I already said it. Running up now. So this alert actually looks at the one minute time frame. Okay, super simple. And you can say, well, what's the minimum move that I want to see? So you might want to say, I don't want to see anything less than, let's say, 10 cents, hypothetically speaking. Um, and then you go to the window specific filters and you put in a minimum price again, just for example purposes of five and a maximum price of 50. Okay. And nothing else. And we'll say one minute spikes. Okay. So that's right now. And let me put that on one minute. So here's, you know, you can see what the move is, running up quickly 15 cents in less than a minute. Here's 10 cents, 11 cents, you know, and, and obviously you can then say, like, okay, wait a minute, um, uh, John, absolutely. We're, we're going to do better on the option side. And it's really uh, about just uh, adding more depth of the options data. So we'll definitely do that. So um, the ways to limit this now is I can say, okay, well, I want to see these moves, but there's got to be a relative volume of at least two. And maybe volume today, this is another great way to filter data. So a lot of people, you know, get confused about volume because they're like, oh, I need something to trade 750,000. Yeah, but be careful when you say that or, or a million, because what happens if a stock that typically trades 100,000 shares or even 50,000 gets crazy news, starts trading uh, 
a million, two million shares, but you don't see it because you've got your averages that are excluding it. So this is a way to prevent that from happening. Use volume today. So I'm going to say volume today of 200,000. And um, I will call it uh, Leon. Now we'll see, you know, what was the last thing that comes up. So, so that's how this is done. And we can also go to history and see what's happened. So we had one. 16 cents, 19 cents. You know, the thing too is that notice that, uh, you know, you can then start to zero in and say to yourself, well, maybe this 10 cent move is just not big enough. Or I have to, you know, switch the view to other uh, stocks. Maybe what I need to do is um, say, okay, whoops, where'd it go? Maybe what I need to do is change this 10 cents to 30 to make it more interesting and see what comes up. Um, so now we know the last one happened at 10.13, so that was a few minutes ago. So this one does not pop as much, but here's where that took place. It was boom, and then pulled back. Okay, and obviously we know this is traded over 100,000 shares today. So you can really make, uh, Leon, the bottom line is you can make any kind of view um, that you want. Um, and the real, we're, we're the most excited, and it seems like everyone is the most excited about really being able to have this AI-powered uh, signals that are coming up so that, you know, you really have total statistics behind what it is that you're doing. But as a review, again, for now, for everybody here, Scott's been putting in all the promo codes. We'd love for you guys to come and uh, try out this technology because one, we think once you do, you'll never go back. Because this is the way to look at, you know, market. If you want to be seeing what's happening now, like what, 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 you know, what's moving right now, where your attention is, should be focused the most, um, this is the best environment for you. Um, and you know, let me just again modify the view so you can see it in both time frames. And here we go. And we had talked about this, I think, before. So you know, that's a big move right there. This thing could really go. And look at it go right there. I mean, you guys see that? Just boom. I mean, and that's how, this is why you're on the surge channel. This is what a surge looks like. I mean, I think that you, you almost can't get a better example. I mean, this is the most popular uh, page that active traders are watching. I mean, look at this thing. Um, John, yes, the new version is ready for download. So let me uh, show you guys real quick. So how do you get the brand new version of trade ideas with charts? So, I mean, super easy. Go to our website, go to products. And this kind of gives you an idea of what we do. I mean, we have a, uh, I mean, all the descriptions of what we're doing are there, our price plans. And at the bottom, our latest release version, and this is the version with charts. So again, you just go to the bottom. Okay, um, FA, I'm not sure what you were asking about, which channel for, for what? This is the surge channel. That's where we're finding these, the ones that are like surging. Um, so, Amal, I mean, I think that's it. I, I, I believe I've tortured everybody enough.
Um, unless uh, there's just a lot more questions, I can. I think I, I feel like I've covered enough, and Scott's been uh, great for sending you guys all of the support links. Um, and look at the queues have made a really nice move since uh, we've been uh, talking here. Ah, John, the bottom forming is not on the channel. And uh, just add, if you if you're a subscriber, just ask me for it, and I'll give it to you. Ah, um, DB, send us uh, an email. So, Scott, I'm not sure if you posted the contact. If you send an email to info at trade-ideas.com, we can help you coordinate some of this with E-Trade. Now, the E-Trade scanner is a very old version of Trade Ideas. Um, and that's one of the reasons not everything that, that is here is available there. They need to upgrade, but they haven't done it yet. Yeah, and absolutely. Um, we're we're going to help them all uh, come up with any kind of setups he wants. Yeah, so so guys, um, you know, our, our the thing for us is that we we really want to combine our technology with the education system. And what's really good is that, you know, we are going to be focusing on working with Anmal to make sure that we can come up with the setups that he's used to trading, that, you know, that, that his insights have helped him so that we can make make it easier to find. And then we're going to work together to come up with new setups that have tons of statistics behind them so that, again, um, you guys have the best of both worlds. So we're really excited to be partnering with live traders and um, we, we, it's our goal to help the community and, and you guys know that again, um, I'm not just, uh, it's like hair club for men. I do it too. And uh, I feel your pain. So we're there, we're open. Um, that's one of the easiest things is to get a hold of trade ideas and I'm the CEO, but I still do webinars because I love to be connected to, uh, to the markets and to make sure that the technology I'm bringing to market with my firm is valid. And you can only do that if you stay in the game. So that's, uh, that's what I think is the advantage of using our technology and we hope you guys give it a try. And Maul, thank you so much for your time and letting me present to your group. Leon, yes. Yeah, my pleasure, guys. John, thank you so much. Yeah, we we have that's the other thing. We have tons of product people that have been using our product for a long time. And there's that AFOP is going. So guys, I'm gonna leave. Anmal's gonna take over, I believe, for me. Um, so uh, I want to again just thank everybody for taking your time and participating. And we really hope to see you at Trade Ideas. Um, we want to work together. And uh, we'll continue. We'll do more webinars too. Thank you very much.